What's up people and welcome to Groovy Gamer. This video is the second part from the previous video where we explain what items you need to farm before Yoimiya arrive. So make sure to check them out. And on this video, I will show you the build that you need for Yoimiya from her bow to her artifact. So without further ado, let's get into the list. For her weapon, I would recommend that you use either Thundering Pulse, Hamayumi, or Blackleaf Warbow. If you're able to get Thundering Pulse from the Gacha, it is the best bow you can get for her. It has a base attack 46 to 608 at max level, and a secondary stat that will give her a crit damage bonus from a level 1, 14.4% to 66.2% at level 90. On top of that, Yoimi Ascension will give her a crit rate bonus up to 24.2% at max. So you will get that crit chance more often than any character. And finally, the special passive ability that will give her a bonus 20% attack up to 40% attack if you revive it to max and another 12, 24, 40% on your normal attack depending on your weapon stack or 24, 48, 80% on max revivement. You can get this stack from your normal attack, elemental skill and when her energy is below 100%. But if you don't have the weapon, it's okay, because you can craft this weapon later in game, and that is Hamayumi. It has a base attack 41 to 450, 454 at max level, and a secondary stat that gives her a 12% to 55.1% attack at max level. And on top of that, the special possibility will give her a 16% attack bonus on normal attack, and 12% on charge attack, or at max refinement, 32% normal attack and 24% charge attack. Not only that, it can go double the amount if your character has 100% energy and it will went to 64% normal attack boost and 48% charge attack boost at max refinement. And the last weapon, you can get it by exchange to Star Glader at Paimon Shop and that is Blackleaf Warbow. It has a max base attack of 565 and a 36.8% crit damage. Remember, Yoimiya has a crit rate ascension, so a crit damage weapon is really good for her. And not only that, the weapon special ability gives her a 12% attack boost with 3 stack, so it can go up to 36%. Or 24% attack boost and go up to 72% attack boost at max refinement. You can gain the stack by killing enemies and it will last for 30 seconds, so you mostly will have the max stack attack bonus every time you fight an enemy. For her artifact, I suggest that you use one of this set. The first one is for set of Crimson Witch of Flames. This will boost her pyro damage by 15%, overloaded and burning damage by 40%, increase vaporous and melt damage by 15%, and a boost of 50% of pyro damage every time she uses her elemental skill, making a total of 65% pyro damage bonus. The second artifact is for set of Simenawa artifact. This set will be good when you have the Thundering Pulse Bow. It will boost her attack by 18%. And when she casts her elemental skill, she will lose 50 energy in exchange for 50% attack boost for 10 seconds on normal, charge, plunging attack. And losing energy means the special passive ability on Thundering Pulse will give Yoimiya a boost 12%, 24%, or 40% attack depend on the stack. And the third set is 2 set of Crimson and 2 set of Gladiator or Shimenawa artifact. It will boost her pyro damage by 15% and give her 80% attack bonus. Alright people, that's the build that you need to farm to make you Yoimiya be the best pyro damage dealer. With that being said, thank you for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and turn on the post notification so you won't miss out on our new video. Hope you have a groovy day. Peace! Yeah.